Hey guys, it's me, Zell, and we're here with another episode of The Bad Batch. A decent amount of stuff revealed to us, um, at least in their storyline, the characters and knowing a little bit more what's going down. Clones are having to find a new purpose and think about retirement. <laughs> yeah, Rampart was kind of screwed over by uh, Palpatine, which is no surprise to us what he's capable of, but... Um, and then, of course, we're going to probably be obviously continuing on with the crew without Echo because Echo's decided to join with Rex and work on saving the world in one sense or another. But yeah, so I'm kind of foreseeing it'll be interesting to see them with just down to the four of them and furthering on other what in, other interactions they're going to have and potentially lead them to joining along with Rex and Echo in that mission and finding that that is probably a purpose. I'm curious if they're gonna actually pay off their debts to Sid or if something else is gonna stop that beforehand because she obviously has other things coming for her. So I don't know, we'll find out. But anyways, uh, we're gonna give a watch and this is episode nine, The Crossing. So let's get to it. That Red Dead feel. This music's giving me vibes of some other show. This is the mine she purchased. And we're supposed Aye. to do what? Excavate the site for Ipsium. Oh wow, they got a storm coming in. Don't touch their ship! That looks like a young one. Maybe, I don't know. Hi. What's with you? I was thinking about Echo. Yeah. Yeah, it's hard but for kids. You'll get used to it. Omega, we require your assistance. Be very careful. I know. So the Ip Ipsium's like a liquid. Very interesting. Yeah, why do people not worry about leaving their ships? They're freaking gonna get their gas guzzled. They're getting their whole ship hijacked, so they have to hide in the mine from the storm. Omega, how innocent. Was supposed to be on lookout. That's her home. No, no, she's so she has a family member Tell me, taken, and now she has how her home exactly taken. How exactly did you miss our ship being compromised? Yeah, Omega has a lot of complicated feelings right now. Pretty. Well, you guys better find the backup plan. What's that? He dropped the water, bro. A stampede? A flood? It is a stampede. Lion King! Da, 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 da. Are they running from something, though? Wrecker! Not the me- not to mention the Ipsium. Protect the Ipsium case. Well, what about protecting me? Oh, now you guys should be worried about potentially something behind them. Like maybe they're trying to outrun the storm or something. Yeah, that's what they were running from, guys. You need to dip. Well, that would certainly explain the step. Health tech! Oh no. Bro. Good thing they have Macho Man. Transportation. The Marauders are home! We already lost Echo. We can't lose that too. See. Omega, we didn't lose Echo. He's just on a different mission. This squad existed before Echo was a part of it, and it will exist after. What is your issue? <laughs> Tech, you're being a butt this episode. He's not really good with emotions. I want to be alone. Whoa. Money! This is a very, like, real episode, you know, where they're, like, they have to confront their feelings. 
Perhaps you should extract as much Ipsium as you can. You trust me to do that? I am fully aware you are capable of the task. Grab the empty vials from my satchel. That was like Tech's way of, I guess, saying he trusts her. How many are left? This is the last one. Okay, let's not. No, 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 no. Stop, stop it. Hello? Come on, 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 come on. Oh my god! Bro! <laughs> he just jumps down there not knowing what's down there. It's glowing in there. Hey, the outside. They're gonna have to all go down the water slide. But we have to adapt and move on. That is what soldiers do. We are more than that. We're a family, aren't mm -hmm. we? Well, I... Uh, <laughs> yes. Yes, of course we are. Then why don't you act like it? Oh. Echo chose a different path, as did Crosshair. I have to respect their decision. I may process moments and thoughts differently. But it does not mean that I feel any less than you. Oh. That's so true. Nice. Yeah, you can't trust. All right. Give me a few days and I'll see what I can do. We don't have enough rations to last a few. Wow. What do we do now? We'll figure hunt. it out. Like we always do. Oh. I like that episode. It was um surprisingly again showed some emotional complexity and variability within the group. Obviously, we've known Tech has been more um, logical and very matter of fact, whereas Omega wears her emotions more outside and on her sleeve and stuff. And I actually really appreciate that they dedicated so much of an episode to her dealing with the difficulty of losing a member of, as she said, family. And then again, also showing the significance for her losing her home the ship. Because while it's just to them like replaceable, right? And maybe they've already replaced things in the past. Um, she, you know, made things personal for her in the in like the back of the ship. She had that space she had set aside and decorated. And that's like her room, that whole ship's her home. That's where she built this relationship with these group of people with, especially with her age, there hasn't really been, you know, much experience with transition outside of obviously her initial transition from Camino. But so, and I, and I enjoyed seeing them play that out in, in respect, giving, showing that it wasn't just whatever. Um, and then obviously the dynamic between, you know, Wrecker and Hunter kind of understanding and sensing that. Tech seeing it as more of like, it's just what it is. Like tra change happens as humans. So we just adapt as things happen. And so, and he's like, I have to respect, you know, decisions Echo made. And again, what Crosshair made. And I just love that they had put in that they're like, he's like, I might process things in moments differently, but it doesn't mean I don't experiencing them the same or um, feel them or, that sort of thing. So I appreciate that because obviously everyone kind of handles and deals with things differently and expresses their reaction to them. So that was a sweet moment. And then obviously a nice response Omega had of understanding that it wasn't anything personal and that it was just a differences of handling a situation. So yeah, a really well done episode. And then obviously they used just the underlying story of the Ipsium and stuff. Um, and again, not surprised Sid would respond in that way because that she doesn't have the same relationship or connection to them. She sees them as an asset, as a resource to utilize to pay off debts and to pay, you know, get 
profit, not the same relationship that they have with each other in this family dynamic. So yeah, a really good episode overall. It really helped to highlight, again, I feel like they've really been doing good at fleshing out Omega, but I think they did a good job with this fleshing out tech a bit as well. Um, so yeah, fun episode, good episode. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed uh, my reaction in commentary. If you want to show support, go ahead and give the video a like, thumbs up. And if you aren't already, don't forget to subscribe as well. <laughs> subscribe as well. Um, that'll let you know when my videos are up and live. I don't have a set schedule, so make sure to turn on the notification to be alerted. I won't bombard you with a lot of things, so certainly take advantage of that. But anyways, on that note, we'll wrap it up. So thanks for being here and watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Thank you.